Recently, we had a gentleman come visit us from North Carolina with positive dysphotopsias that he was experiencing in his right eye after three prior surgeries to his right eye. His first surgery took place in October of 2023. He underwent cataract surgery with a single piece acrylic monofocal lens implant that was uncomplicated and routine. And he had very bothersome light sensitivity, pain, and dysphotopsias after that surgery. So in February of 2024, he underwent reverse optic capture and IOL repositioning of that same single piece acrylic lens implant, which still did not alleviate his bothersome dysphotopsias. So after another three months in May of 2024, he underwent intraocular lens exchange. The single piece acrylic monofocal lens implant was removed and a three piece silicone Bausch and Loam LI61 lens implant was placed into the capsular bag of his right eye. Did that make his dysphotopsias go away? No. Then after waiting about six weeks, he was still bothered by his dysphotopsias, bothered enough that he traveled from North Carolina to come see me here in Austin, Texas. On his exam, when I saw him on June 25th, 2024, his uncorrected vision was 2025. His refraction was minus a quarter sphere, correcting to 2020. His right eye looked completely normal. And then let me share with you what he told us. You had surgery to your right eye three times, once in October of 2023, and then what, like in January, and then uh, again in May? February 20th, and then May 9th. Okay. And describe what you're seeing from your right eye. From my right eye, I, I have, if I try to open it up totally, I get a, a kind of a watery glare into the right and upper right side. It's a bright glare. Yeah, it is. It's not dark. It, it's not tolerable. Is it a semicircle of darkness or anything like that? Is it shaped like a semicircle or no? The, to some degree, yes. Kind of a kind of a semicircle or a, a moon, a crescent. Um, but it's white. It is. It's white. It's, it's all the light. time. Yes, it is. It's did you have it with your first implant? I did with the first acrylic and you, implant. Did it get better yes. after you had the reverse optic capture? There was nothing. Didn't get better? No. And did it get better with this LI-61 lens you have now? No, it did not. It's it, been the same? It has been. It may have even decreased some with this lens. Decreased? Okay, that's better. And why are you winking that eye? I, if I open the eyes in my field of vision, I have like a e equilibrium type dizziness feel. And that just doesn't, doesn't subside. Have you been doing the winking thing for the past six, seven months? If I don't try to wear some kind of crazy glasses that... What are you wearing? These glasses. Show me those glasses. And they'll close out. They're also in the sunglasses, but they close off some of the light. Uh-huh. Right and side. what are the other glasses you're wearing? Have Just you're a sun, sun sunglass version, version of the same of thing? Yes, correct. Let's see, the, let's see how it looks. That's so this, and it has this. Autofocus, there we go. Okay. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. So we repositioned his Bausch & Lohm Li61 AO lens from inside his capsular bag and placed that same lens into the ciliary sulcus. We advised him that his problem was very, very rare and that the chances of his symptoms improving were unknown since we had never had to treat someone with his history and symptoms before. I gave him about a 50-50 chance that his symptoms would improve and a 50-50 chance that his symptoms would not improve. The surgical procedure was routine and took about five minutes to perform. We saw him one day after repositioning his three-piece IOL from the capsular bag into the ciliary sulcus, and this is what he said. So, um, all right, you're a day out from surgery. We repositioned your right lens implant. Correct. And you're not squinting. That's what I noticed. That's a plus. That's a big plus. So yes. what was causing you to squint, and why are you not squinting now? I was getting uh, catching a lot of glare 
and light phenomena come creeping into the right side of the eye to the point that we're squinting, we close most of it off and it would help me to see. And you still see something off to the I side? Do. I still see something off to the side there. It's a glare, kind of a, um, lack of a better expression, a, a, a fill up of water, like if you were having a lot of water in your eyes. But it's less than it's before. It's less. It's probably a third better than it was prior to Good. the last And you don't have to carry around those uh, special <laughs> custom-made glasses. I have not and had to not put any on. The only thing I put anything on were the shades this morning for the light outside, which would be normal. Awesome. So it's only been a day. Should hopefully get better over time. If it doesn't, at least you're not squinting anymore. That's correct. That's an improvement. You know, the improvement's great. So like I told you before, I've not seen your problem before. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. I said it was like a coin flip, but I think we got, we called it. Heads. And yes, and if it can help anybody else, absolutely. Okay, thanks so much. You're welcome. Great. Thank you. Great. For context, the lens implant that he received during his third surgery and which I repositioned during his fourth surgery to his right eye is the lens implant that I found to be associated with the fewest side effects of any lens implant that I've used in my 27 years of practicing ophthalmology. It's the Bausch & Lohm LI61AO three-piece monofocal lens implant. Over the years, we've probably placed about 10,000 of these LI61AO lenses into our patients here at Austin Eye with fantastic results. Yet, Sometimes things will surprise you. And this gentleman represents such a case where he is the first and only patient that we've seen with symptoms that he was experiencing with this Bausch & Lomb LI-61 AO lens. So how did the story end? Well, I followed up with him via email about a week after his post-op video. And he said that his symptoms are still about one-third less than they were when his LI-61AO lens was inside the capsular bag. And so he's had good relief, for which we're very thankful for. So thanks as always for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.